<laughs> Look at that, that 12K, I know it's crazy. Yeah, it's like 30 yards of it, so. So, what is this new stabilized carbon fiber? Why would you want it? Who, what, where, when, why? Um, so this is our very first time ever using this. Uh, fiberglass just came out with this. And the main difference between this and a regular like 3K carbon fiber, because this is still a 3K 2x2 12 that we use on all of our stuff. So the difference is, other than it's got this nice little cling wrap stuff, you get really close, you can see little tiny fibers running between everything, which should not show up in the part. But the cool part about this is, this is gonna keep the uh, first layer that you set down there from warping and doing anything weird. So you can have a perfect first layer, especially if you're gonna keep your like panel carbon, which most people are if they're gonna build a carbon part. Um, you won't have any weird warping or like snags or runs or pulls in your first layer that you're gonna see. So what we're gonna do here is use this on our very first layer. Like I said, this is our first time trying it out, so we'll see how it goes, but we use this first layer, and then the rest of the layers we're just gonna do as normal. You've seen us make a 240Z roof a couple times now, but uh, this is the first time trying this out, so I'm excited to see what this new product can do. So one thing I do not know about this carbon is if we can pull strands out of it to be safe. I'm just gonna cut straight through without doing the regular pull method. It seems like that shouldn't matter too much because like we said, like normal carbon would start fraying if I started doing that, so I think we're okay. Oh my goodness. I could use this thing. Damn, the switch up crazy. Whoa. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, definitely way to go. Cool, so like I said, we have this first layer of this new carbon, and then we're going to run one layer of the 3K, one layer of, well, so that's our second layer of 3K, another layer of 12K, followed by the regular uh, blue peel ply, and then bleeder, and then finally the vacuum bag. Just gonna mix up resin, and we already pre-cut everything, Man, so we're ready to go. Definitely work smarter. <laughs> so uh, let me get some gloves. Like usual, I'm using System 2000 with the 60-minute cure hardener. Um, so you have a 60-minute pot life, 2060. This is what I prefer. There's also 120 minute and 25 minute, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but I find this one to be the best. It doesn't usually take me more than an hour to lay up most of our molds. You buy it in the five gallon jug, it's got this cool pour spout. Cool, so I like to pre, I think it, this is three to one with this. Yes, so it's three to one by volume. So I have this little stick that I pre-marked these things on. So I put two little dots inside of my cups. So while I'm mixing, well, while I'm like laying everything up, I'll pour one to that little thing, mix it up, and then I'll leave these without hardener in them. And then as I need them, I'll pour hardener into it, but I don't want to have to re-measure every single time. Okay. Boop. And remember, Stir for at least a minute. If you don't, you will have problems. How do you know? Because I've had problems. Gotta stay consistent. Oh, and I also want to mention when we when we lay this first layer of carbon up, we're gonna lay it with the veil side up. So the side that actually faces out on the mold will be the other side. You shouldn't see this once it's already wet out, but just in case, put the veil side up so it's not facing everything else. So, yeah, so I'm gonna wet this out first. Uh, we already have 
all of the, you know, the PVA and the wax and stuff like that down, and then we've sprayed clear gel coat in here. I did that yesterday though. I like letting the gel coat sit for longer. You can technically, you know, an hour after spraying it, get right into making your part, but it's extra sticky. It takes a, a long time for it to feel like fully cure. So I like letting it sit a little longer because then it won't grab your carbon. But also with this new carbon, it shouldn't really matter as much because even if it grabs it, it's not gonna mess up the weave, which is most of it. So. Who knows? Just so used to doing it that one way to avoid having problems now that I have a you know carbon that should just mitigate those problems anyways. Should be even a more fail proof method. Exactly. 